Hello guys, it's Johnny Tam and welcome to another DeFi and Web3 tutorial. So in this video today, we will learn how to become a Web3 developers in 2022. Either if you are currently developer, JavaScript, Python, Java, doesn't matter, or you're just new to development and you want to start your career in Web3 crypto development, this is your tutorial of that's gonna make a plan for you how to get started and how to become in less than six months a Web3 developer and build the future of the financial and the internet, the financial world and the internet, and of course, enjoy crazily insane salaries because there is no a lot of supply of Web3 developers and there is huge demand and huge money is invested in Web3 projects. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so first we want to cover the Web3 developer skills that you need to master in order to start and become a Web3 developer. Then we will cover different resources that you can use to start and initiate your Web3 development journey. Also YouTube channels that will help you learn from YouTube videos for free. Everything in this tutorial is for free. Resources, you won't have to pay a penny, a single cent, not even a single cent. So we also have YouTube videos that I will refer to you if you like to learn from videos and also of course blogs and websites if you are more like the guy who likes to read books or learn from internet and articles. So the first thing skills that you need to have as a blockchain and Web3 developer is the fundamentals. The fundamentals is the most important thing. You need to understand what is a blockchain and how it works. First, the first blockchain that was ever created, which is Bitcoin, you need to understand how Bitcoin work and then you need to learn how Ethereum works, which is kind of the next level of blockchain. It, once you learn how Ethereum works, which is EVM compatible, Ethereum virtual machine, you can actually start program uh, apps on other blockchains like Phantom, like Polygon, like Arbitrum or Optimism, because all these kind of blockchains are very similar to Ethereum as well as BSC. It's all EVM compatible. Now you can learn also about Solana and Cosmos, but this is optional because these are different blockchains that are basically built with different technology, not like EVM. And if you want to become a Solana or Cosmos Atom developer, this is something else. In this tutorial, we're gonna focus EVM development, Ethereum and basically EVM development. So this is optional. Now, the next thing you want to learn how crypto wallets work, either if it's MetaMask or Ledger wallet or any other crypto wallet and basically how they work. Then you want to learn how web, what is Web3? What is basically this mean? What it's built from? Why it's so innovative? What it's why it's like so interesting. This is what you want to learn and what is Web3, but don't worry for all these fundamentals. I'm gonna give you the perfect resources where you can get started and learn these kind of fundamentals. Once you understand what is Web3 and what is, are the advantages of Web3, you can get in depth into DeFi and NFTs. DeFi is decentralized finance. It's a huge thing in Web3 and of course NFT and Metaverse. Now, in order to master those fundamentals, I'm gonna now present to you the best resources that helped me to get started in my journey. First of all, you can watch my videos, my theoretical videos about DEXs, liquidity pools, marketplaces, etc. So feel free to check my videos in this channel, Johnny Time. I have a lot of educational videos about wallets, about DeFi, DEXs, protocols, etc. Another great channel is Finematics. Finematics is an amazing channel with illustrations and animations, and it has a lot of fundamental tutorials about what DeFi is, what is Ethereum, rollups, layer two, layer one, all these kind of things. Great channel, great teaching, great educational content. Another great channel, very similar to Finematics in terms of the vibe, is Whiteboard Crypto channel that helped me a lot to understand a lot of concept in Web3 and DeFi. Very, very good to get the fundamentals. What is blockchain, what is Bitcoin, Ethereum, DEX, Uniswap, liquidity pools, all this kind of stuff. Another cool thing is Learn Web3, which will also later on help you to get started of developing in Web3, but it also have great resources and tutorials for the fundamentals. So if you go to the freshman track over here, you have what is blockchain, what is Web3, what is ETH, crypto wallets. And the cool thing about it is that you can read it on the website. If you don't like the videos, to watch videos, you can actually read 
this kind of tutorials and then you have a test where you can test your skills they test how how you basically master those skills and those fundamentals now once you master the fundamentals and you understand all this kind of concept you want to get started with solidity solidity is basically the uh, programming language that is used to write smart contracts on ethereum the thing with Solidity is that it's quite different than normal programming because when you write a program on Python or on JavaScript, you can always push updates and update it. In Solidity, it's quite different. Once you deploy a smart contract to the blockchain, it's immutable and you can never change it again. Of course, unless it's admin, po admin uh, upgradable proxy, there are some kind of workarounds, but by definition you cannot change smart contracts once you deploy them into the blockchain you can migrate them actually to new smart contracts but we won't gonna cover this on this tutorial so there are a lot of new concepts that comes to solidity and smart contracts programming on ethereum this is the most important thing that you want to learn when you begin uh, your journey as a web3 developers because there are different concepts like how do you utilize the memory better how do you not how do you write smart contracts that are optimized and do not consume a lot of gas now it sounds like chinese but once you get uh, once you master the fundamentals you understand what gas is what transaction fees and then you will get to the solidity and you understand why it's important to write efficient code that optimizes the transaction fees and does not consume a lot of gas when people send transactions another important thing with solidity is all the security so there are a lot of security holes but in this case it's basically you have millions on the stakes because when there is a smart contract that holds millions of dollars and billions of dollars and it's immutable you cannot change it solidity uh, security is very very important in security and in smart contracts development so you need to master all these kind of subjects in solidity in order to get started to and become a web3 developer now the best way to get started with solidity in my opinion and it's what i did uh, and this is how i learned solidity in the beginning is cryptozombies.io it's an amazing website amazing ux and it's kind of like levels which means that they teach you something and then you write your own code and it's like step by step they they help you master solidity very very similar to code academy if you are familiar with that so it's super fun super nice game i highly recommend crypto zombies to get started with solidity i will put all the links in the description below so don't worry about it now once you master and you understand solidity you need to understand the stack the full stack of becoming a web3 developer and also you want to make sure that you are actually using the most recent and updated technology which means frameworks libraries programming languages because you want to make sure that you learn the technology that is more advanced more covering more stuff more battle tested and also more maintained by the community because it's all open source projects so the stack will usually be Solidity and JavaScript, okay? So all the web applications and the dApps will be written in JavaScript, but not just JavaScript, the front end will contain usually React. It's not a must, but this is the, the most, like a, I would say most recent technology. Almost every dApp that you're using this day is using React. And if you want to add some kind of server side rendering, rendering option, they also use Next.js which helps you with routing and server-side rendering. Now for backend, if you want to write bots or applications that integrate with smart contracts, usually people use Node.js with Express if you want to extract, to expose an API. So this is for backend, Node.js and Express and React and Next.js. Libraries and framework, the most recent and advanced library and frameworks that I like and I use this day is harder. I prefer it so much more than a Truffle or other frameworks is because it's actually the best. It's the most convenient, the most maintained. And if you look at Web3 jobs, every one of them is requiring you to know harder. This is basically a framework for smart contract development. So it helps you to develop the smart contract. It helps you to deploy to different EVM compatible blockchains. And then also here it comes with a test suit so it helps you to test your smart contract which is super 
important and crucial because we understand that smart contract security is one of the most important things because millions and billions of dollars are on the stake. Now regarding JavaScript libraries, the, my favorite and the leading library for JavaScript Web3 development is by far Eaters. We used to have Web3 which was quite so the web tree library the javascript library is quite older and quite like less good than eaters and i prefer eaters so much it's so much easier so much more convenient so eaters is quite it's basically the library that will help you to interact with smart contracts either if you're writing a back-end program in node.js maybe you're writing an arbitrage bot that uses arbitrage in Uniswap, for example, or even if you write a React web application that interacts with your smart contracts, either way, you're gonna use Ethers, which is the best, in my opinion, library for JavaScript. Now, in order to learn Solidity, these stacks and libraries, these are the most, the best resources and tutorials that I've found, and this is how you should get started, in my opinion. So for Solidity, we talked about it already, it's Crypto Zombies, now, if you like, if you're this kind of guy that likes to learn from YouTube videos or from YouTube or video tutorials, then I recommend you first to check out Nader Dabit. So this is Nader Dabit and this is my favorite YouTube channel to learn from. This guy is amazing. He's basically an ex-Amazon engineer that quit his job to dedicate his like life and journey to Web3 development and education. And he has an amazing channel with a lot of great videos, tutorials. Some of them are shorter, some of them are complete, like more than an hour. And I myself use a lot of his tutorials and a lot of his videos is a super nice Nice guy he also has a blog with all the tutorials so if you prefer to to read the tutorials and do it from articles or tutorials you can also check out his blog every video tutorials is attached with a blog and all of the code is there you can also check out the github repositories that he posts for the tutorials my favorite channel he always uses the most recent libraries the most recent technologies hard express and all this kind of kind of advanced technology. So Dapp University is another great uh, channel and resource to learn from YouTube videos. They also have short videos and long tutorials about creating Web3 applications. And a small disadvantage about this guy's tutorials is that sometimes he use older libraries that I don't like and you don't want to learn to work with these kind of old libraries like Truffle and Web3. There are some developers that are still work with them and prefer to work with them, but in my opinion, you should focus your work on learning how that and ethers. But great guy, great tutorials. Another great channel is Eat the Blocks, super technical channel. He has this kind of conceptual two video tutorials about concepts in Web3, crypto, and DeFi. And he also has like full one hour, two hour development tutorials definitely check out julian amazing guy he is now a small team and they create amazing content they also have courses but in this video we also gonna cover free educational content another channel is morales morales is a web3 infrastructure product which means that they let you give you access to blockchains by using their own nodes if it's for ethereum polygon phantom etc they also have api so they wrap for you functions in order for you not to interact with low level smart contracts they give you the functions by themselves and also they have an sdk in javascript where you can import to your project and they wrap a lot a lot of functions for you they also have this kind of great youtube channels with a lot of great tutorials but it has a small disadvantage in my opinion. The biggest disadvantage in Morales tutorials in my opinion is that they use in their tutorials their SDK and their built-in API functions. And it's a disadvantage because they make you use to the easy way. You don't, basically, if you use their API or their SDK, they wrap the functions for you instead of you implementing the functions yourself and this is bad because you will learn you will not learn in depth of how to interact with smart contracts and how the smart contracts actually works because they do all the dirty job for you that's why i used to like this kind of tutorials and of morales in the past but now i more consuming my content from another 
DAP University and Ida Blocks. But also, if you want to get started, they have a lot of great full tutorials of building Web3 Twitter, Web3 Netflix, and what's not. So another great channel. Now, if you are the guy who likes like reading articles and tutorials or doing like kind of like more interactive tutorials, I highly recommend, first of all, learn Web3.io. They have amazing tutorials. And you can, they actually have YouTube videos, but I don't like them that much. I like more the uh, text tutorials. So they have different tracks, depends on your level. I'm right now completing the uh, sophomore track. It's not this account, so it's in another account, but I completed almost all the, all this kind of sophomore tracks. It's super fun, super good, interactive tutorials. Also cover the fundamentals and also the development part. So this is very, very good resource. Another good resource is, of course, Cadena. Cadena.dev, very, very similar to Learn Web 3, completely free, completely educational. A lot of projects where you can get started here. And so Cadena is a great resource to get started with in your Web 3 career. They have an amazing uh, platform with a lot of educational development. Uh, tutorials to develop Web3 applications, very interactive, very similar to Code Academy, and it's all completely for free. Definitely check out Cadena, one of the most addictive platforms to learn Web3 development. Another similar project is BuildSpace.so, another free uh, resource for Web3 developers and builders, amazing tutorials, definitely check them out. So as you can see, Build Space has a lot of tutorials, build web, build web tree app with Solidity, ship your own NFT collection on Flow, a lot of different amazing tutorials where you basically can complete and earn this kind of achievements. And it's nice because it's like gamified. You like achieve your skills, you achieve levels. So it's awesome. And this is your go-to tutorial of how to get started and become a web tree developer. Uh, my way, the easy way, the fun way. So we covered all the skills that you need to have, some great resource video, YouTube channels, and of course, some great website, free, all for free, because I believe that education needs to be free. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments below or join the Discord community. We can talk there, you can share your journey, how you started, if you're planning to start to become a Web3 developer. If you have any questions, you can ask here or in the comments. And if you like this tutorial, make sure to smash the like button for the algorithm and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content in the future. Thank you so much and I will see you in the future videos. Bye bye.